Come on, buddy. <laughs> This is the day waterfowlers dream about. Nice front coming in. It should get pretty dirty. Absolutely amazing morning. There's no sun yet, so shoot time just started. The ducks can't see us, so we'll see if we're hidden well when the sun picks up a little bit. But um, oh, out front! Um, but there's hundreds of ducks in the water right now, just circling us. There's not a lot of wind, so they're here just peeking around. This is incredible already. I cannot believe this. This is like a duck hunter's dream. All the birds in the, in the sky right now. Being from Illinois, our season ended right after Christmas time, so I haven't been able to shoot a duck in a while, and it's the end of January. And this is an incredible sight. We're hunting over beautiful water. We got a handmade blind. We're here in the woods. Ed's behind the camera. It's about to be a great start to the day. So it was pretty wild right at daylight. Had a bunch of birds all around us. Uh, they weren't liking something. I don't know if it was the calling, the spread, or just late season mallard. So a lot of open water, so the birds really aren't using the the river like we thought, but. We got some snow coming in, so always got a plan B, and honestly, this hunt this evening is the one I've been waiting for, so let's hope I'm right on this one. We're going to get them where they really want to be this evening, though. This Long story short, Mac had a horrible spread up. He, you know, he put us in the wrong spot. <laughs> We've been out here since about 1230. Probably have about 10, 12 ducks. Um, only ones and twos. The big groups aren't coming in. So changing the spread up, um, kind of give them a better pocket to land in, more of a focal point, moving these decoys out, and uh, just trying to make it more realistic so we can suck them in closer. first ever duck hunt and we did sit out for a long time this isn't your typical duck hunt we don't usually sit this long I feel like unless you know they're really coming in but uh yeah your first duck hunt first with crash one. landing outdoors what do you think honestly I, I know nothing else so I loved it this is this is all I know about duck hunting and to me this was a fun day successful day in my eyes look I have birds in my hand that's a, I can't that's really get your limit right there yeah I did and uh you know, not getting any sleep kind of sucked, and I haven't eaten since yesterday. Aside from that, it was a good day, <laughs> and I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah. So our first day hunting uh, here, Crash, 
was an interesting hunt. It was one of the most interesting days we've had here at Crash. I chose to sleep in. Um, I'm in the middle of getting ready for my baseball season. So I slept in, planned to go to the gym, and then like the weatherman actually predicted, snow started falling from the sky. And when snow started falling that early, we knew mallards were gonna be hitting the fields early. They gotta go get food. Um, so I think it was about 12 o'clock, we decided to go out in the field and set up and get out there pretty early. And it was a very, very long day out there in that field. Snow, sleet, rain. Um, we still managed to shoot about 35 mallards and uh, it was a hard one, but a fun one. So obviously, you know, shooting 30 mallards is pretty solid, but I'll tell you one thing, we earned every bird we shot that day. Day two here at Crash, we decided to split the groups up. We sent Sydney and the Barstool crew to a pond a couple miles away from the lodge. And then John, Dylan and I, went to a wetland that we uh, have put a lot of work into over the last couple of years. And it's been really fun to watch it come to life, watch these birds find it, stick around. And we only hunt at special times when the weather's right, when the birds are right. And we got in there today and it was, it was a special hunt, man. If you're a duck hunter and you looked at the weather the last three days, today is the day we've all been waiting for. Snow in January? It's about to be a beat down. Kill these birds. Kill those two. That's Kill that duck. Kill those two. Shoot them, boys. That's what I'm talking about, baby! Huh? Zora. Catch up! Catch up! Good girl! Hey, good girl! <laughs> Getting to have John, Dylan in, like I said, Dylan was talking about one of his new songs that's coming out, and then getting to watch John work his dog. Um, yeah, everyone knows what that feeling's like, getting to watch your dog work. And um, this wetland's probably about two feet deep, so watching her run through that water, go get birds, and, and getting to see John have that moment with his dog was just, uh, it was really cool, really special. She retrieved her first goose ever, which for a small dog, shooting a big Canadian goose, it's a, it's a pretty big task for a small dog like that. So really cool to see her go out there and get her first goose. So this is my dog's first goose ever. She is having a little trouble right now. This is so much fun to watch her learn. <laughs> it took her a minute to figure out, but she is having a blast. Good girl. Hey, good girl. Is <laughs> that thing bigger than you? Good girl. You bring that thing out of water. And put the century mark on the board, Zora retrieved her hundredth bird with crash landing.
stop when we start. We want to keep putting those little stakes in the rest of the water. Hey, ahead of my time, and that's a race against my past. Whenever they clock me, that's 2000 on the dash. When it kind of tickles me, and every day I laugh. Yeah, you know we number one, and you don't need to ask. I got the magic, feel like I'm a greyhound looking at a rabbit. Finish line so close, I reach out and grab it. I only look back just to look at your reaction. Can't stop when we start, we get it done. Take no days off, we number one. Lace up these kicks, and we run like this.